She was beaten, carjacked, and dragged down the highway. Then she was saved by a good Samaritan. New at 10, WCCO's David Schumann was there for an emotional reunion. Hi! Oh my gosh! For 30 seconds, these near strangers, connected by fate, simply held each other, and they shared their memories of the other. And that's what I saw, is I just saw you, like, <laughs> running towards me, and, and just, like, holding me, yeah. and, like, telling me that it's okay, I'm here now. Billy Joe Cruzy met Christy Bridgman last month after a terrifying, violent ordeal that began with a highway collision. All of a sudden, I felt like this bang, and my back window shattered. Shaken on the side of Highway 169 near Elk River, Billy Joe called 911 and, because of the cold, invited the man who hit her to wait in her car. It's bottom line, I should never let him in my vehicle. She says he told her not to call the police because he couldn't get another DWI. Then that she needed to get out of the car or he would have to shoot her. And like this, and he was hitting me in the face, he hit me in the head, he hit me in the ear. And I told him, I have kids, please don't do this. Billy Joe says he pushed her partway out of the car and drove off, dragging her with it. Then she was alone, screaming for help when Christy heard her driving by. I just saw you there. I saw you needed help. Mm -hmm. And you stopped for me. I did. Leaving the car he was driving at the scene with a loaded gun inside, police arrested Edward LaFour Jr. last week. He's charged with five felonies, including aggravated robbery and assault. He terrifies me, so, um, but I feel better. Christy has helped Billy Joe feel better, too, knowing someone was there in the darkness to help. You literally saved me. In Zimmerman, David Schumann. And I'm very grateful. WCCO 4 News. Billy Joe will be out of work another four weeks as she recovers from a concussion and other injuries. The family started an online fund to help cover costs.